Ingenuity was supposed to meet up with Perseverance at the front of the ancient river delta. It successfully flew over terrain too hazardous for the rover to drive through, but then reversed course. Did something go wrong? On this episode of Mars Guy. Ingenuity was never expected to be scouting the Delta deposit along with Perseverance. Here's Mars Guy for scale. It was just supposed to prove whether a helicopter could fly in air less than 1% the density of Earth's air, but it just kept going and going. After the science campaign was completed in and around the terrain known as CETA, Navajo for amongst the sand, it was time to head to the Delta to explore for evidence of ancient microbial life. Ingenuity could fly over CETA to get to the Delta, but Perseverance had to drive around this rover death trap. CETA is too wide for a direct flight across, so Ingenuity did it in five segments that balanced engineering risks with exploration. For example, there was a branch point at which the decision had to be made whether to get a look at the crashed hardware of the jetpack descent stage, requiring two flights, or fly a direct route across. Turns out that the flight over the hardware had only a small, safe landing zone, making it a dicey option, and a single direct flight was too long. Instead, Ingenuity flew a short segment along option C, then a record-breaking second flight to the other side. Downlinked images from these flights have been limited to only the last five navcam frames for the landing of each flight. Images and data from Perseverance during its record-breaking drives have been getting downlink priority. Flight 25 was the one that reached the other side of CETA, which put it about 350 meters, about 1,150 feet, from Perseverance. Here's a stadium for scale. On Sol 414, Ingenuity executed Flight 26, but the landing location shown on the NASA site is not closer to the Delta, it's back toward the edge of CETA. This seems strange, as is the missing flight path segment and the mismatch between the measured distance from the previous landing location and the new one, about 190 meters versus 360 meters in the flight log. Maybe Ingenuity flew back towards CETA to get a look at the geologic contact dividing the two terrain units, or maybe to check out the parachute and back shell, which I described in episode 53. Or maybe the new waypoint was just mislocated. Based on the downlinked landing images, it looks as if Ingenuity is at least safe. Meanwhile, Perseverance has been exploring the Three Forks region, gathering images from this staging area to decide the best route to take up and onto the delta. There's also spectacular views of the scientifically important Kodiak Mesa, an erosional remnant of the delta. There will be a delta front campaign of exploration that's expected to collect around eight samples over about half an Earth year. This may include the so-called bacon strip that I described in the previous episode. This will be followed by a Delta Top campaign for another half an Earth year. 